Hi everyone, so I will be showing today how to crochet this layered baby cardigan. This is size 6 to 9 months. Uh, you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, I have three layers on this and they are overlapping on top of each other. As you can see here from the inside, they are connected to each other. Uh, so we use extended single crochets for the top of the cardigan and then just sort of a lacy bottom. Okay, so it is not difficult to make and you can uh, change the sizing if you want. I will talk about this a little bit later uh, when I'm showing the yarn and uh, everything. So this is one. I'll just quickly show some others. Maybe you'd like some colors. So this is a smaller one. This is three to six months. And the biggest one that I have made is one year to one and a half. As you can see, I have started the top layer already in a different color with the others. Uh, the first layer is the same color as the top and I have four layers on it. Okay, so uh, we are gonna go and have a look of what we're going to need for this project. Okay, so these are some of the things that we are going to need. Uh, scissors, needle, four stitch markers and a few buttons depending on the size that you are going to make and a measuring tape. Now my measuring tape is in centimeters because my chart is in centimeters as well. This is just something that I am used to. Uh, I'm not very good with inches. Okay, so as I have this in my hand, I'm going to tell you quickly the measurements that we are going to need. Okay, so this is the age and this is the measurement. Okay, so we're going to need head circumference. We're going to need finished chest for the finished cardigan. We're going to need yoke. This is yoke height. Uh, we are going to need back neck to waist, sleeve length, and perhaps upper sleeve just to make sure that our sleeve will fit us. That is not going to be too small or way too big for us. Okay, so we're going to find the size that we are going to make. I'm going to make another one in six to nine months. Uh, and these are th this line are the measurements. So I'll be looking up like this no okay I'm gonna have a picture of this on my Facebook page and I'm gonna le leave a link to that in the description box uh, under this video so you can have a good look so this is done so the next thing that we're gonna look at is yarn so these are the three colors that I have chosen now I'm gonna have the whole top and the top layer in this color and uh, the two bottom layers are going to be pink and yellow. These colors are not my first choice. Now I had to pick them so you would be able to see well what I'm doing. Normally I would use some very dark for the top, something bright in the middle and perhaps white in the very bottom. Unfortunately white and very dark and bright colors are not great for videos so I just said I'll see what I can do with these three. Okay, so how much yarn we're gonna need? Very difficult question. So I have an extra skein uh, of this color for the top. Now depending on the size that you are making, okay? Uh, so I think this will be enough. I will be making a size six to nine months. I think that this would be enough for me for the whole top and the top layer but I have another one just in case. For the bigger sizes, you're gonna definitely need more than one skein. Now these are 100, uh, 100 gram skeins, okay? Uh, double knit yarn or DK or lightweight free. I would suggest you use uh, the same weight yarn. So top color done. Now the layers. Uh, each layer needs about 50 grams of yarn. Now the bigger cardigan that you're gonna make, the more yarn you're gonna need for them. So uh, even the size, the biggest one that I have made to one and a half years, uh, I have used up I think 45 grams for uh, bottom layers for each bottom layer. So these skeins are not full. Uh, I have used them uh, up before but I still have enough to make those layers. Okay, so as I said, uh, just make sure you have enough yarn for this, okay? And again, you might have more layers than me. The bigger the cardigan, the more layers you're gonna have to have. So you might have more colors. And then the hook. So I have a four millimeter hook for the main cardigan that fits my yarn. And I have a three and a half 
millimeter hook. This is, I'm just gonna use this for the very last row of the sleeves, just to take it in a, uh, take it in a little bit um, uh, at the wrist. Okay, so we have these done and we can get started. So this cardigan starts as any of my other cardigans. We are going to look up the head circumference for the size that we are making. I will be making a size 6 to 9 months. Now it doesn't matter which size that you are making, you just need to know which one. And we are going to look up the head circumference for that size. So I have 43 centimeters, you might have bigger or smaller circumference depending on the size. So I'm going to write that down. 43 centimeters and we are going to minus 3 centimeters from our head circumference. It doesn't matter if you have bigger or smaller numbers here, we just minus 3 and we end, I sorry, I end up with 40 centimeters, okay? So what is that 40 centimeters? 40 centimeters is going to be about the length of my starting chain. Now we're gonna have to match the amount of starting chains with that length. As you can see right here, these numbers in the middle of each square is the amount of starting chains, okay? So I have worked the neckline out. So I'm gonna make starting chains, count them. You see, I'm gonna stop, let's say it's 50, and I'm gonna measure if that is close to my 40 centimeters that I need. If it's not, I'm gonna go for uh, bigger sizes until I find the, that one, uh, amount of starting chains that is very close to my 40 centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna have my measuring tape ready for this, okay. I get my hook and my yarn. I make a slip knot and I'm going to start chaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna stop at number 50 and I'm going to measure it. I have 50, 50 chains made, so this is the neckline and I'm going to measure for my 40 centimeters, okay? So I'm gonna put the end and I'm gonna give it just a tiny little pull, not too much. So I'm about 32 centimeters long now. My starting chain, 50 chains measures about 30, 31, 32 centimeters. This is too short for me. I need it to be closer to 40. So I'm gonna go for 56, although I think it's gonna still be too short. Two, three, four, five, and six. Measure that again quickly. I'm about, 35, 36 centimeters. I'm gonna go for 64. So I need to add another eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have 64 now. And as you can see, it measures about, about 40, if I give it a bit more pull, 41 centimeters. So this is the closest so 64 chains right here is the closest one that I can get to my 40 centimeters and I am happy with that. So you should do the same, match the number of chains with the length that you need this starting chain to be. Okay, so once we know that, okay, you have your stitch markers ready right here. So this is the neckline for me. This is the start of the yoke. Now the numbers here in the front is going to be we're gonna have nine stitches before the first corner. This is a corner. We're gonna have 12 uh, stitches, in my case, uh, over the shoulder, a corner. I have 18 for the back, 12 over the shoulder, and nine for the front again. And these are the four corners, okay? So whichever one you have, it is exactly the same. You just might have bigger or smaller numbers than me. So I have 64 chains at the moment. I'm just gonna add one more, chain one, and in the second chain from the hook, now this is where we're gonna start making our extended single 
crochets, okay? So skip the very first chain, go into the chain after that, put your hook in, grab the yarn and pull it out like this. Now this is where the extended part comes in. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through one loop only like this. And we're gonna yarn over the second time and pull through both loops. So that is one extended single crochet made. I'm gonna go into the next chain, pull out the yarn, I have two loops, yarn over, pull through one loop, I have two loops left on the hook, and I'm gonna yarn over and pull through last two loops. I'm gonna go in the next chain, again pull it out, yarn over, pull through one, and yarn over, pull through two. So I have three extended single crochets made now and for my yoke I need nine. So I have three, go into the next one, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have this done. Now comes the corner. Get your stitch marker ready. And into the next chain, we're gonna put three extended single crochets. So the next chain, I go and I go one extended. I go back into the same chain, make a second one, two, and once more into that same chain, my third extended single crochet. Now I'm gonna turn it over like this, if you can see, and I'm gonna mark the second stitch from my hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count. One, two, and three. I'm gonna mark the second one. So one and two, mark that. This is going to be the corner for us in the next row. Then I have 12 on the over the shoulder. So start counting from the next chain and make whatever you have there. I have 12. So one, two, three, and keep going until you get the number that is written down right here. Did my 12. I have my second corner into the next chain. It's the same as we did before. Three extended single crochets. So one, two, and three. I'm gonna turn over and find that second stitch from the hook. So stitch number one and stitch number two, and I'm going to mark that. Then over the back, I have 18. So starting from the next chain, I'm gonna make 18 extended single crochets. One, two, and keep going. I have 18, I have my third corner in the next chain, three extended single crochets, two and three, and again I'm gonna mark that second stitch, so stitch one, stitch two. And again, the other shoulder, I have 12 uh, extended single crochets, so I'm not, uh, so I believe that you understand now how to follow this chart. So just keep going and I'm gonna meet you at the end of this uh, first row right here. So do this. Okay, so I'm finishing the row one. I have two more stitches left. I have made seven and I need uh, it has to be nine for me and I have two stitches left so I will be okay. So an eight and into the very last chain my number nine. Okay, so we are not gonna need this anymore. I'm just gonna close that. Put that away. And this is how row one should look like. Okay, it's not really holding its shape yet but it will. Okay, so row number two, this row is one to remember because row number two 
So I'm going to write that down. So row 2, 6, 10, and 14. Now this is only for the yoke. It depends on the size that you're going to make, okay? So you might only get row 2 and 6 in the yoke or you might have row 10 in the yoke as well, perhaps even 14 if you're going to make uh, it's very big. Okay, so this is row 2 and what we are going to do, we are going to do no corners. What that means is we're not going to do increases, okay? Otherwise, our um, yoke is going to catch up with the measurements way too quickly, okay? So row number 2, 6, and 10. This is only for the yoke. After uh, we finish the yoke, if you get like on the row 14, after you finish the yoke, you don't do this because we're not going to have corners anymore. This is just for the ones that are going to make it bigger. Okay, so row number 2. We're going to start with chain one. We're going to turn around and we're going to ma be making the same extended single crochets. And we're going to start with that stitch right under that chain one. Very, very first one. And we do not really need to count them anymore. We just need to get to that corner without skipping any stitches. Just a single crochet in every stitch that you can see. Okay, so I'm closing up onto my stitch marker and as it is a row where we do not do increases, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put only one extended single crochet in there, okay? So one. That means no increasing. And I'm going to put my stitch marker back into that stitch right after the, right after that loop, <clears throat> excuse me, the very first one, just because we made it one of them and then we're gonna keep going one stitch what excuse me one single crochet extended one into each stitch until we get to the next corner again next corner taking it out make one extended single crochet and put that stitch marker back into that very last stitch and keep going all corners in this row are the same we only get where the stitch markers are one extended single crochet okay so i'm gonna leave you to it uh just finish that row two i have one stitch left for the second row this should be in the very very end make sure you don't skip that like this two rows done now rows number three four and five are exactly the same we are going to make three um three extended single crochets in the markers so i'm gonna just quickly show chain one turn around back into that same stitch after the chain one and start your extended single crochets And I'm at my stitch marker. I'm going to take that out and make three extended single crochets in this row. One, two, and three. I'm going to mark the second stitch. So one and two. When you make three extended single crochets in the corner, you mark the second stitch. When you uh, make one single crochet in the marker you mark that very very last stitch the very first one after the hook so just quickly i'm going to show you one more corner other than that it is all repeat remembering row number two six ten and perhaps 14 now that is for a bigger yoke just have them in mind that you don't do any increases other than that it will all be the same I'm 
again corner stitch and I make three extended single crochets one two and three and I'm gonna mark that second stitch from the hook and we're just gonna keep going now um, all rows are the same like I said like this one or the row number two uh, we just need to keep going our yoke will grow longer bigger in every way and I'm gonna meet you real quickly uh, now uh, after I make this we will see which measurements we need and how to figure out that it is big enough for us to connect my yoke is done now and we are going to measure just just to show you how to know that it is finished okay so the first measurement that we need to take is the yoke right here so I'm making a six to nine month size and my yoke height should be about eleven and a half centimeters so you look up yours okay and uh, make sure you remember that then you're gonna get your measuring tape and you're gonna measure from the top corner to the bottom where the marker is so by the way I have made 10 rows and I will be connecting on row 11 so first of all you're gonna measure that so I have about 10 and a half centimeters right here from the top to the bottom I need 11 and a half but that is okay because the next row that we're going to make you see I have this done to here is going to add an extra little length to it and I will meet my needed measurement so you see if I measure this corner where I already have started that row I'm gonna be about 11 and a half centimeters that I need okay so next row is gonna add another little bit but we need do really do need to uh, meet that measurement okay so when you know that this part is long enough we're gonna measure the back of the cardigan to see if we need to add any chains when connecting under the sleeves so this is where our chest measurement comes in so the finished the chest for the finished cardigan look it up so I have 50 centimeters for my size you might have more or less depending on what you are making so 50 centimeters now as we are going to measure only a half of the cardigan only the back part we only need a half of that so I'm gonna um, divide my 50 by 2 and I'm gonna get 25 centimeters this is what I'm looking here so if I measure my cardigan I'm about 24 centimeters from one marker to another so I'm missing one centimeter then I'm gonna put my measuring tape on one of the rows that I have already made I don't know which one maybe this here and I'm gonna see how many stitches fit in that one centimeter so I have one stitch that fits my one centimeter you see right here so one stitch is about the same width as one centimeter that I'm missing so that means I'm gonna do one chain on one side and one on the other so you should do the same uh, figure out how many chains you need to do you might have more you might have two three or four uh, depending on how much you are missing from the chest measurement okay so get yourself to the corner where your stitch marker is and we're gonna start connecting so I am at the stitch marker I'm gonna take that out and where the stitch marker was I'm gonna make a extended single crochet then the amount of chains that you are missing so I'm only need one I'm gonna find where my other stitch marker is and I'm gonna put an extended single crochet in there And I'll keep going with uh, as normal until I get to the next stitch marker and this is how you connect I am at my next stitch marker. I'm gonna take that out I'm gonna make extended single crochet the same amount of chains as the other under the arm hat so I have one find the other stitch marker make sure it's not twisted and make an extended single crochet 
and now we have our yoke connected okay so the next row what we're gonna do we're gonna just uh, fill in the gaps that those chains uh, that we have made under the armhole so I have only uh, two of them uh, one each under each arm so I'm gonna go quickly okay uh, so we start and finish the edge exactly the same as we did before and I'm going to meet you right here I got to the underarm right here and I still have a stitch here and then it is my one chain you might have more depending on how many you did so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the middle of that chain and just make an extended single crochet now we're gonna make when we will be making sleeves we're just gonna make it in that one strand that is left I have one some would have two depending on where you have um, went in with your hook in, into that chain okay and then just keep going so we're gonna do the same uh, in the other side uh, and I will come back uh, after the next row so I'm gonna finish that I'm gonna make one more and I'm gonna count my stitches how many stitches I have so that is quite important because we need to get start getting ready uh, for the layer part and we're gonna have to have a specific sort of a uh, multiples for that for, for the for those layers so we need to start getting ready because we might have to increase or decrease depending on our measurements I will all show you all that so for now finish this row uh, make one more so on the next row I'm gonna count uh, every stitch don't count that chain one that you do only the stitches uh, the extended single crochets okay so I have finished that row and I have counted my stitches and I have 70 stitches now you'd need to listen carefully okay so not if you are a very beginner this might be a little bit difficult for you okay so the number of stitches that we have I'm gonna write that down I have 70 stitches you might have a different number now now our pattern for the bottom for the layers calls for multiples of four that means as many fours as we can fit into that number and and then at the end a plus one okay so as I already know my number I'm going to divide that by four okay so I get 17 and it is 68 okay and I have two stitches left so my 68 is the multiples of 4 so I'm gonna write that 68 multiples of 4 plus 1 you see I had 2 left here I'm gonna cross that out I took 1 that plus 1 out of it and I have 1 stitch left so I need 69 to match my uh, my needs for the first layer okay and I have 1 stitch left which I am going to do one decrease to get to that 69 right here so hopefully you understand what I mean if you don't what you can do is you can write a comment down and I will count that out for you okay because it's not easy if you're a very beginner you might not um, exactly understand what is multiples okay so you need to get your number divide that by four whatever you have left take one and add that yeah so this number divides by four plus one whatever is left we are gonna decrease so I have only one decrease now I am going to do that in the very middle right here in the middle of the back because I have one if you have two decreases you can make a decrease under the armhole and under the other one so you have three two sorry if you have three you can make one two and three just try to uh, make them uh, in equal you know ab about the equal lengths apart okay so hopefully you understand what I mean uh, so at this point I'm just gonna quickly turn you off and get to the space to the first space uh, to the space where I'm going to do the decrease and we're gonna see how to do that so I'm 
at the middle and I'm ready to do my decrease. Remember, you might have to be here if you have more decreases than me, but I have only one, so I'm gonna do it in the middle of the cardigan. Okay, so decrease. We are going to go into the stitch, grab our yarn, pull it out, yarn over, pull through one loop, and we're gonna leave it. We're gonna go straight into the next stitch, catch the yarn, pull it out, we're gonna yarn over, pull through one loop, we should have three loops on our hook and yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now we only have one stitch left instead of the two that we had. And then we just keep going. If you need to do more decreasing, do them. Okay, so at this point, we have our stitch count. Remember multiples of four plus one. And we need to keep going to that uh, to get to the part where we are going to start doing the layers. Okay, so that is where our measurement comes in. So we're going to look up the measurement for back, neck to waist, like this one. Okay, so for my age, it is 18.5 centimeters. Look up bigger ones or smaller ones. I have 18.5. So this measurement measures from the top of the shoulder to where we are, okay? So from top of the shoulder, I am about 14 and a half centimeters long now. I need another, another four to get to the waist. Now, the thing is, I don't want to get to the exact number. I want to be a little bit above it because the first row of um, of our layer is not going to do a lot of um, shape. It's not going to add a whole lot. So I want to be a little bit under that measurement. So perhaps, so if it was calling me 18 and a half, so I want probably to be at least 18 or 17 and a half, perhaps even 17 centimeters, just a little bit above what our measurement is calling for. So I think I have about another three rows or so to go and then I'm gonna meet you back here and we're gonna start the layers. So my top part is now measuring about 17 and a half centimeters, about one centimeter shorter than the measurements that I had, which is absolutely fine. And I can start with the first layer. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which, uh, which side you are starting on. So what we are going to do, we are going to chain two, one and two, now we're going to skip that first stitch, the next stitch, and we're going to make two double crochets into that third stitch. So one double crochet, second double crochet, we're going to chain one, and we're going to make two more double crochets back into the same stitch. One double crochet and second double crochet. Then we're gonna skip three stitches, one, two, and three. Into the fourth stitch, we're gonna make two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Again, skip three stitches, one, two, three, into the fourth one. Make a double crochet, second double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochets. And we need to keep going until we reach the other side of the cardigan. At the end of this row, after you make the last uh, fan, you get to make a double crochet into the very last stitch, like that. We're gonna chain two again, we're gonna turn, and this is going to be row two. So we're gonna yarn over, now we're gonna skip that first stitch from that first double crochet, so you see 
first double crochet, second, third and fourth. We're gonna skip that first stitch from the first double crochet, go into the second one just before the chain one and we're gonna make two double crochets in it. One and two. Then we're gonna find that chain one space, make a double crochet, we're gonna chain one, we're gonna put a double crochet back into that chain one space, then we're gonna put two double crochets in the next stitch. On to the next one, okay. So we're gonna yarn over, we're gonna skip two stitches. So this is this is the stitch from the last double crochet from the first fan and the first the stitch from the first double crochet from the next fan. We're gonna skip them, go into the stitch in this from the second double crochet and make two double crochets. We're gonna make one double crochet in the chain one space. We're going to chain one and make a double crochet back into the same chain space. And again, two double crochets into the next stitch. Again, skip two, one, two. You should be in the top of the second double crochet and make two double crochets. In the chain space, make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch one and two and again skip two stitches you should be in the top of the second double crochet and we just keep going this is all there is to this row once you finish the last fan we're gonna make a double crochet so we had two chains here chain one and chain two into the top of the second chain we make a double crochet like that we're gonna chain two again one and two and this is row number three okay so we're gonna yarn over now we're gonna look at our stitches so we have the chain space here and we have three double crochets we're gonna skip the first double crochet the stitch from the first one we're going to go into the second one and make one double crochet. Then into the next stitch, the one just before the chain one space, we're going to make two double crochets. In the one in the chain one space, we'll make a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet back in there. And then again, we're going down we see three double crochets so we make two in the first one or, or the first one after the chain uh, one space so two double crochets and then one double crochet then we are going to skip two stitches so the last one and the first one from the two fans we skip we, and then we make one double crochet, two double crochets in the next one, and into the chain space, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. After that, the first stitch after the chain one space gets two double crochets. And the next stitch gets one double crochet. So this way our little pattern is getting wider. We had two double crochets then we have three double crochets now we have four double crochets. I'll show it one more time okay so we're gonna skip two stitches two in between the two fans the last one and the first one. We're gonna go into the middle double crochet from the last row make one double crochet Next stitch gets two double crochets, chain one space gets double crochet, chain one, double crochet, the stitch after 
two double crochets and the stitch after gets one double crochet and so on we're gonna skip two stitches and one double crochet then two and then the chain one space so we're just gonna keep going and doing that for the whole this row I am at the very end of row three and I'm going to uh, make the last double crochet into the top of the chain two so chain number one chain number two and I'm just gonna go in it and make a double crochet okay so row number four so chain two and turn around now if you look carefully at this point we have four double crochet so one two three and four chain space and then four again going down now we're gonna skip the stitch from the first double crochet we're gonna go into the second double crochet on the top of it and make one double crochet make one more in the next stitch so one and one now in the very top double crochet make two double crochets one and two in the chain one space make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet now after the chain one space we make two double crochets next stitch gets one double crochet and the one after gets one double crochet again now we're gonna skip two stitches the last one and the first one from the two fans we're gonna go and make one double crochet one double crochet into the next one then two double crochets and in the chain one space again double chain and double after that two double crochets and one and one skip two stitches one double into the next stitch one double and two doubles after that chain one space double chain double and then again after the chain space you make two double crochets one double crochet and one double crochet skip two stitches and again one one two and then the chain space so i'm gonna leave you at it i ho i hope that you can uh, see it very well so you should now have five double crochets before the chain one space and five double crochets after that and then a little space here in between and then again five chain space and five so I'm gonna see you at the end of this row at the end of this row we're gonna make a double crochet into the second chain so chain one and chain two now the basic layer is done now the next two rows are only going to be um, edging for this so we're going to start with three double uh, sorry three chains chain one two and three I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna skip the very first stitch and the next stitch I'm gonna make a double crochet into the third stitch chain one skip one make a double crochet into the next one chain one now make a double crochet into the very uh, middle here into the chain one space chain one and another double crochet back in the same chain one space and chain one then skip a stitch double crochet chain skip a stitch and double crochet chain I'm gonna skip two stitches now the two on the very very bottom like we did before these two we're gonna skip them 
and we go into the third stitch. Make a double crochet and chain one. Skip one stitch, double crochet, chain one. Then we should end up in the chain one space again because we skip that stitch. And in there we make a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet back in there. Chain one. Skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one. Skip a stitch and double crochet chain one. Then again, when you're in the bottom here, you get, get to skip two stitches. And go into the third one. Double crochet and chain. Skip a stitch. Double crochet and chain. Skip a stitch. In the chain one space, double chain, double chain, and keep going. This is all that we are going to do for this row. We're just adding double crochets and chains like that. So see you at the end of this row. At the very end of this row I have one stitch left and the chain two right here. So double crochet, chain one, skip over that second last stitch and go into the top of the chain two and make a double crochet. And we have one more row left. We're gonna start with three chains. One, two, and three. I'm gonna turn around. And we're gonna make a single crochet into this space right here, into the chain one space. One single crochet. The next space gets a single crochet, chain three. One, two, and three. And a single crochet back into the same space. The next space again, single crochet, one, two, three, and single crochet. So every, every chain space gets that. Single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. Again, single crochet, and a, three chains and a single crochet. So just keep doing this. I, I don't think this is too hard, so I'm going to leave you to it. Make sure you get every space. And this is how it should look. And the finishing touches on this layer. Okay, so I finished with single, single crochet, three chains and single crochet into the very last space. I'm gonna put a single crochet, I'm gonna make two chains, one and two, and I'm gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the, bo from the bottom. So chain one and chain two, and I'm going to make a slip stitch. I'm gonna chain one and cut my yarn. And just pull the hook out. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So this is my, okay, this is the right side. Okay, so if you, as you can see, the first layer is already done. It's all wrinkly as it should be. Now, I have literally just decided to make two parts of this video. Just so I don't have to hurry and I can take my time because the next layers, the bottom layers will be uh, different from the top layer. So that will take up time. I still have sleeves to do and the edging. My video will be super long. So what I would like to ask you, if you can, uh, write me in the comments. Do you prefer two parts or one long video? Because my videos are always long. For me personally, Two parts are slightly easier to do. I don't have to put so much pressure on myself. But uh, let me know what you like. Uh, once I'm done with the second part, I'm going to leave a link under where you can find it. But for now, I'm going to see you in part two.